Hello everyone. So today in this high performance grass system series, uh, we are going to work on how to uh, add this simple grass wind so that we have a simple animation for these each of these grass blades. And also there is a little bit of a yellowish shade to the grass tips. So it gives us a more, uh, a better look to the grass. And also we can see the uh, con contour of this uh, landscape also which looks cool I think so yeah let's work on those things by the way if you haven't watched the previous episode here what we are doing is we are creating this uh, grass beds through the code using procedural measures so that we can have a very high performance compared to regular grass uh, systems that we have in Unreal. To put that into comparison here, when I have this regular grass, to this grass meshes that I have implemented using landscape grass output, you can see an immediate drop of FPS here. It's around 80 now. But with this grass system that I have, here you can see FPS is almost 120 FPS and we have grass rendered to the end of this landscape so it's a lot compared to what we have here and also even in the distance the grass is still renders and still it does not cost so yeah if you haven't watched the first episode this is the first episode you can watch it in my channel so yeah as always i'd like to remind you that you can download any project file the any project file of the projects that i have covered in my channel uh, in the patreon page so once you become a member you can download any project without a limit and to the date there are closer to 2700 videos and for each video you can download the project files so with that said let's get back to the tutorial okay so this is the place that we stopped the episode yesterday and also uh, there is an issue with here still in this implementation if I reload the level these grass blades will not be saved and I will address that so let's go to the blueprint now here in this generate grass when we add vertex and add triangles in order to uh, implement grass wind or apply a texture we need to define this uvs so i'll promote this to a local variable and call it uvs and as we add vertices we need to add uvs as well now before we do that let me show you why we need uvs so here m grass and let me set up a basic material promote to parameter base color so this would be the base color of the grass and color this is the color of the grass tip so I'll make it uh, a color like this maybe a little darker and the tip I need it to be uh, yellow Like this now if I get the texture coordinate and if I mask and get only the G part 
g. That means I'm getting the y coordinate of the texture coordinate. And then if I love this, love means linear interpolate using this value. Now here you see, let me change this to a plane. So top part is green and the bottom part is yellow. Alright, now let me apply this and I'll set the same grass as the material and grass compile now select regenerate and now you see still everywhere is now as you can see it's all throughout green it doesn't have any yellow part so that's because this mesh does not contain any uh, UV so it's always I guess zero for the texture coordinate everywhere so what we can do is now we have already created this UVs uh, data structure and here when we add vertices I'll call it add vertices and UVs because for each vertex we need to define the UV value okay so for that so the first vertex uh, this is how our grass blades are created first vertex second vertex and third vertex and this is the grass blade so I'll consider this first vertex as 0 0 and the next one as 1 0 I'm talking about the UV coordinates here and this one 0.5 and 1 so now here when we get 1 in y coordinate that means here in g the tip should become yellowish so now we have the uvs here first coordinate is the base of course so at 0 0 and we have three vertices Okay, so this one is one zero. Uh, no, this one is the top one. So point five and one. And the third one is this one, which is one zero. Okay. Now here. vertices and exit right uh, now when I create I have already connected UVs so compile and select the grass system generate okay so now you see bottom is green top is yellow but this is too much as you can see so if i want to offset this here we can do something like this we can add let's say minus something like point eight and then we need to make sure this value is within 0 and 1 so I will clamp min 0 max 1 okay 
and now you, can, now you can see green area is much larger and yellow areas is smaller and here it is inverted that's because the y coordinate 0 is here 1 is here but for the grass it's other way around see now we have the yellow tip as we want it and we can see the contour also here in the way we want it okay so the next step is giving some movement so for that we can use simple grass wind or you can create your own function if you want to come if you want a different way of the grass wind but for me this is good enough so here wind intensity not zero maybe let's say what we can check the values and see what works for us and wind speed that also we can it's i don't want it to be look uh want it to look intense just a calm breeze wind weight also let's promote to a parameter and I'll keep it one so still we don't see any moment oh sorry we haven't connected it yet uh, oh, we need a additional world position offset let's promote this to a parameter okay now we see uh, so here I don't want to uh, no, let's just leave it like this for now and see it see how it looks in the grass okay so the grass is moving but the root is also moving which is something I don't want to do because root should be fixed on the ground so what we can do is here what if we multiply this uh, value with the wind weight now you see the top part is not moving yeah now the roots are not moving only the oh they are still moving a little bit what if i increase this a bit Yeah, right now the moment in the top is much clear. Okay. So I think uh, that's good enough. And uh, you got these parameters to play with them so you can achieve whatever the uh, exact uh, moment, how fast, how slow, how much it waves. So you can do that. Okay, so the next issue that I want to address is if I do something like compiling here, this grass vanishes. I want to avoid that. But for that, we're gonna need to do use a little bit of C++. So I will stop this episode right here and show that part in the next episode. So thanks again for watching. As always, updated project files will be available here to download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.